because we see so much design, so much media all the time, we just sort of ignore it. And we move at this like really fast speed that we've kind of been programmed to do. So I thought that it would be kind of an interesting thing for designers to explore, and it is something that's going on in the field, the idea of slowing people down and of getting them to stop and pay attention to one specific thing. So my content slash vehicle, which kind of becomes the same thing, was exhibition design. Um, and I curated a theoretical exhibit of Irish art. I went to Ireland um, the summer before my senior year of undergrad. I loved it. I studied art history while I was there, specifically Irish art history. And it's this really interesting um, you know, subplot in European art history, basically. Part of this idea of getting people to interact with the exhibition and spending time and committing themselves to to exploring it was to provide something that is not two-dimensional, not on the wall. I mean, if all the paintings are on the wall, you just sort of walk along the wall and you look at a painting and you read a poster and you look at a painting and you read a poster. And it just seems so boring to do that. So I thought that this was a great idea to pull that information off of the wall, put away from the paintings. So the paintings will be able to stand on their own, tell their own story, and then these towers that are just sort of interlocking panels all stacked up would become a, a supplementary dialogue. The field is changing so rapidly that we have to learn to um, be more flexible. It's not going to be just about being a, a publication designer, an editorial designer, or um, designing for the web or designing for um, three-dimensional space. You're going to have to be able to do everything. You're going to have to be able to do everything from a poster or trade show graphics all the way down to an app for the iPhone. You've got to do everything. Everybody has their own way now of interacting with it, so the design itself has to be more flexible, so designers need to be more flexible. And I think this program provides us really strong foundations um, to go out and do that because the basic principles don't change. Good typography doesn't change. Creating dynamic layouts, that those concepts don't change. It's just how it's put into the different media that changes.